aspect of trading in financial markets is the competent position management. The trading platform will provide all the necessary tools to accomplish this. Where exactly can you view current open positions within MetaTrader 5? The list of currently open positions is displayed in the trading tab of the toolbox window. All right, so when you have positions open, which I currently do right now at this moment, I have a short position on the December mini NASDAQ, and I also have a long position of the December mini S&P. And your toolbox is this window here at the very bottom of your workspace. So if you log into MetaTrader 5 for the very first time, typically what you're looking at right now is uh, pretty much the workspace that you first see. Of course, you have the flexibility to change it, uh, but I pretty much kept it as default. So the toolbox is here with the, the additional tabs. You see these tabs here at the bottom, and you'll see the trade tab, and this is where you can see your open positions. All right, so let's uh, give you some definitions of what, what each one of these columns represent. Uh, for example, if you look in the symbol column, uh, this is basically going to be the financial instrument of the open position. And then you also have the time as well, which you can see is a timestamp of when the order was executed. You also have a ticket order ID confirmation as well. Uh, you see trades on the chart, which we'll demonstrate in a different video, but you can see there's, there's ticket confirmations in relation to the orders that you execute. You also have the type of order that you see here, whether it's a sell or a buy. The volume, how many contracts you executed. The price of what the, the, the trade was executed at. And then, in this case, I don't have a stop loss or take profit at the moment, uh, the OCO bracket. If uh, Let me go ahead and add one real quick just to show you what it looks like. Just do a simple, so here I have a short position, so I'm just going to do a buy, buy stop there, and we'll do a buy limit there. Just keep it simple. All right, so there, that's, as you can see here, this is the stop loss for 48.37, and that's the take profit at 48.34 quarter. All right, so the, the values will be displayed in these two fields here. And then this is the price of the pro where the profit and loss is based off. All right, so one thing that's kind of I want to bring up about that is the current price of the financial symbol. The bid price is displayed for short positions, while ask price is used for long positions. All right, the price of the last performed deal, also known as last, is displayed for the positions of exchange symbols in both directions. And then to the right of it, you also have the profit open P&L column. So at this moment, I'm currently losing $75 on the December mini S&P trade. So if you look, I am long from 2145.75. And uh, you can see there's the P&L. So $40 as well is what I'm making on the mini NASDAQ trade. All right, so you'll see that this, you're definitely going to be utilizing this very often throughout the platform. Uh, this is essential for you to have an understanding where to view your open positions. Another thing as well is, and the, again, this, this following column, the position parameters are going to be displayed here, whether it's the financial instrument, the type, the volume, current profit and loss, and more. Uh, additionally, the current state of the trading account and total financial result of all open positions is displayed in the trade tab within your toolbox. Another thing I want to point out as well is the summary information about the state of assets of all open positions will be available within your exposure tab. Right, so if you look in your toolbox, the very next tab to the right of the trade tab, you can see there's an exposure tab. If I click that tab, it, it gives me a different display. Right, so you have the assets column, which is basically the name of the currency or financial instrument. You have your volume column, which is going to indicate uh, in units of a trader's position for the currency or financial instrument, including leverage. Uh, leverage is more specific to Forex trading. Since we're just trading futures, it's just showing here that we executed a short one and a long one. Rate, again, not applicable for futures contracts, more lead for Forex trading. Um, as you all know, MetaTrader 5 was primarily a Forex trading platform, but now at AMP Futures, we offer it as a futures trading platform. So that will take a little getting used to. You're going to see some language that's in only in relations to Forex trading. In this case, rate is not applicable, but usually means instrument or currency, currency exchange rate and deposit currency. And then you also have the column where it shows the, the margin requirement. So the, you can see where it shows USD, negative 500, 500 there. All right, so that basically means the amount of deposit currency, excluding leverage, uh, actually spent to buy or sell the currency or trading instrument. All right, so again, that probably will be changed uh, once 
the margin requirements are adjusted correctly. This is a this is a demo account, so it's just factoring five hundred dollar margins for the ES and the uh, mini S and mini S and P and mini Nasdaq. You also have a graphical display of your position, and then here this little pie chart is going to give you uh, the ability to switch between information on short and long positions if you click on the diagram title. All right, so the displayed account assets for the depot deposit currency will take into account the free margin as well. All right, so if I click, you can see, because I have a short position on the mini NASDAQ and I have a long position on the mini S&P, you can see that I'm able to click and see the different uh, diagrams in terms of the positions that I have established within the exposure tab. All right, so this is a quick little video on ter in terms of where you need to go to see your positions. It's, it's going to be pretty important for you to understand uh, where, whether you're short or long or how many positions you have within the trading platform. If you do have any questions about this, please contact our 24-hour support team. You can reach us at 312-893-6400, extension 1, gets you directly transferred to our 24-hour help desk. Uh, we're available to help, so as long as the markets are open. Uh, definitely visit uh, our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP futures. Uh, please show your support and subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, we definitely will keep you up to date and very proactive in keeping new products uh, on the channel. Other than that, thank you for tuning in and happy trading.